burn. Alright guys, what is up? It is Diverse Odyssey here, and today I have my first tutorial for you guys about like uh, epic color corrections, CCs, whatever you want to call them. Um, but as you can tell, I, I got a little cold here, so yeah, my voice will be a little bit weird today, so yeah. So to start it off, like you're only going to need one plugin, and you probably already saw that, that's Shine, Chop Code Shine, put a link in the description for that. But uh, yeah, so let's start it off here. So the first thing you're going to need is uh, Hue and Saturation right here and just drag that on and then all I did was just lower the master saturation to negative 35 I mean you could lower you could lower it even more or less I mean I think it just adds a nice touch as you can tell it just makes it a little bit darker not darker but you get it <laughs> so the next thing we're gonna use is curves just a default curves so just drag this thing on I mean I mean I have magic bullet looks on here you don't need to use it but like you can replace some of these with the options in magic bullet looks but you don't need to so <laughs> yeah and then with the curves just drag that on and I made this part I don't I don't, I don't know if it's lights or dark so I'm sorry I just <laughs> I just figured it out <laughs> so um, I dragged this pretty high a little bit higher than normal I'd say and then I drag this just a little bit lower but I mean you could definitely add your own twist on this if you don't like this fully but like yeah so I mean it adds a pretty nice touch I mean it's starting to look pretty epic if you ask me like take it off turn it back on it just makes like the darks darker the lights lighter so yeah so now you just gotta drag on a sharpen and uh, what that does, it just it just makes like these little lines here a little bit sharper. I jacked that up to 15. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't go higher than 30, but I'm gonna stick it at 15 because I just like it there. And then uh, the last thing we're gonna add is trap code shine. So like shine up. So yeah, just drag that on. Um, you can. Uh, use a mask or just make your own custom mask with the pen tool which I mean some people do that I do that sometimes but today I'm just gonna be using the what is this called pre-process use oh, I don't care just use mask so you, you're gonna turn that on um, I mean you could you could junk the radius up a little bit higher but I just kept it at 200 I mean it's all personal preference for this really but uh, I just dragged up the feather a little bit higher like 15 to 15 and then uh, just drag the source point up here I mean you could put it anywhere up here just make sure that you don't put it low or so it look pretty weird I mean but I mean if that's how you want to make your color corrections you go for it but since you're watching a tutorial I mean I'll stick with this but uh, yeah, I, I put the ray length up to around four, three point six. Um, you can you can make it a little bit larger or higher, but I just like it around three point five to four. Then I just dragged up the boost light to point three. You can drag it up higher or just keep it at zero. Um, it's all personal preference. So uh, I'm just gonna turn it on here. Um, so with the color eyes. I just uh oh yeah and don't forget to put on add so it might look weird <laughs> so with the color eyes I just made the highlights white I made the mid tone mid tones like a, I put on orange and then I just dragged it up really close to the white and look at the number down here so just all right and then for the shadows I made it blue and dragged it really close to the white and yeah that that pretty much uh, finishes the tutorial but I mean if you want to stay tuned for the magic bullet looks you are perfectly allowed no no that's not how you say it 
but uh all right so what i did first of all I, I don't really like this but you can mess around with it to your liking i just made this like a blue tint with uh, colorista three-way don't need to do this um, yeah but i just did for fun just to give you options you could use diffusion make that white so you can see i mean you can lower the strength once you get out of this but i don't know i just prefer to do it how i do it and uh... without this and i i mean you could add pop instead of the uh... sharpen you could have the this curves instead of the default curves um, I mean you could add a vignette I don't know that might look pretty cool actually you, you might want to make it white actually turn the strength down to around like 12 might look nice let's try that um, you could add you could add many things you could add this instead of the default hue saturation um, you can do many things with this. I mean, it's all personal preference, as I said. But, uh, yeah. So, let's see how that vignette looks. Yeah, that looks nice. I'd keep that. Just lower the strength to about 80. Um, and, yeah, there you have it. I mean, with the shine, if, if you really wanted, you could add this, uh, when he hits, like say, you kept you would keyframe this at 30, and then when he hit, you drag it up to uh, 100, whatever you would like. But yeah, now now I'm gonna end this tutorial here. Um, I mean, like, comment, subscribe. If you want me to do more, definitely hit me up on Twitter or just tell me in the comments. Um, yeah, so. This has been Diverse Odyssey. Peace out. Yeah, come and take a ride. <laughs>